has had a successful heart transplant using an organ that survived for a record time outside the body. It's all thanks to new Queensland technology that keeps donated hearts alive for longer than ever thought possible. This time last year, Alexandru Moriano's heart was failing. Lymphocytic myocarditis, a lot of the time it's triggered by a virus. It's very rare and it's just a very unlucky condition. I think, I think mine very well might have been caused by tonsillitis. The then 23-year-old suffered a rapid decline, which left her unable to walk and eat. After six weeks in hospital, she was given a second chance. Hearing that my heart did come over east and was part of the clinical trial, I just felt really lucky to be part of it because who knows maybe if this happened a few months earlier I might not still be here. The trial dubbed the Living Heart Project has revolutionized how donor hearts are stored using a special device and solution rich in oxygen and nutrients to keep the organ alive. Alex's new heart traveled a record-breaking distance from the eastern states to Perth spending eight hours and 50 minutes outside the body. Traditional methods on ice are limited to around four hours before the heart starts to lose function. There is now no donor heart in Australia or New Zealand that cannot be transported to a transplant centre. Logistical issues previously meant around 70 to 80 per cent of donor hearts couldn't be used. The new technology hoped to dramatically decrease the wait for patients in desperate need of a life-saving transplant. With Aussie's urge to also consider registering as an organ donor. Technology that saved me is amazing and my medical team, they're amazing and they saved my life but none of it would have been possible without my donor. I feel like organ donation is a way in, in the last hours of your life, I guess, to go out a hero. Cindy Lavrenchik for 10 News First.